In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to fit the power grip band clamp onto EPDM coolant hose. We're going to fit onto a smooth pipe. On a smooth surface, the pipe doesn't get as much grip as it needs, so we need to create a groove into the pipe. We do this by using a Dremel. You need to try and get a groove in the pipe that falls halfway down the clamp. The best way to do this is to use a marker pen. Offer the clamp up on the pipe and make a mark where you're going to Dremel. We're looking to make a 3mm to 4mm Dremel groove. It only needs to be 1mm deep. There's no need to go heavy. Run your finger over the area where you've Dremeled and you should be able to feel a bit of a groove. During installation it's important to remember that the pipes will be in situ. It may not always be possible to Dremel completely around the circumference of the pipe but do try to get as much done as you can as it will give a better seal. The power grip clamp is supported on a cardboard tube. To release it from the tube all you need to do is squeeze and remove the clamp. The next thing to do is to lubricate both the pipe and the coolant hose. We do this by using the flow spray. Just give it a liberal spray, both pipe and coolant hose. The next step is to put the clamp over the coolant hose and push onto the pipe. It will go on more easily once you have used the lubricant and will evaporate once we use the heat gun. The next step is to position the power grip clamp so that it is supported by both the pipe and the hose. The next step of the process is to get the heat gun to temperature. It is important not to touch the nozzle of the gun to the clamp as it will cause damage. All you need to do is wave the gun and try to get around as much of the clamp as possible. Covering one third of the clamp is sufficient, but if you can cover more of the area, it's better as more heat is directly applied. You need to do this for between one and a half minutes and two minutes per clamp. This is a completed installation. If you go wrong, the clamp can be removed by using a soldering iron. Remove when the length of the clamp has been melted. As you can see, the hose has not been damaged by the removal of the clamp using the soldering iron. We are now going to show you how not to install power grip bands onto blue stripe hose. In some applications, the pipe stub will be very short and it will be more difficult to push the coolant hose and the clamp on. What we don't want is for the clamp to be overhanging onto the coolant hose and unsupported by the pipe. You need to make sure that you have pushed the coolant hose on as far as is possible, even if it means that the clamp will be positioned right up to the edge. The clamp needs to be fully supported by the pipe. On some pipework applications there's already a bead or a bevel on the stub of the pipe. If this is the case, put the clamp onto the pipework first and then push the hose onto the pipe. Then bring the band back over. We recommend that the power grip clamp is fitted with blue stripe hose, but it can be fitted with silicon as well in coolant applications. First of all, we need to lubricate both the hose and the stem with flow spray. Next, we heat the band up. And as before, it's just a case of waving the gun over the clamp, taking care not to get too close. If it is easy access, try and get all around the band, but you need to get around at least a third. Do this for one and a half to two minutes. 
you'll be able to see the band shrinking down onto the pipe. Check to make sure that the band is fixed. The power grip clamp can be removed from silicon in the same way that it can be removed from blue stripe. So you can make a groove in the clamp. When safe to do so, pull the clamp away from the silicon. And as you can see, the silicon is undamaged. An installation leaflet will be supplied with each power grip delivery. Exact or final shrink OD can be provided. Using power grip clamps and blue stripe hose eliminates water leaks on coolant systems. 